We live in a speed-oriented culture where quality gave its place to quantity. We give so much importance to the number of accomplished tasks that most of the time we act out of impulses and not out of wisdom and actual reflection. So today we are going to talk about why there is no shame in taking time. Growing up, I had a hard time understanding that life is a long-term process and that there is no shame in taking time. And the time that I put for daily reflection or thinking and analyzing things, it's actually not a time that is lost, but it is actually necessary for our growth and for stepping forward. So today I'm gonna share some points with you that helps me personally to see my life as a process and to be more patient with myself and what happens in my life. So point number one is that there is no rush to figure it all out. We are in so much hurry and getting to the bottom of life before 30 is a popular concept these days. The question here is, why are we in so much rush? Is the life gonna finish at 30? And if we figure out everything before 30, what are we gonna do after that? We should stop seeing life as a number of accomplished tasks. Of course, we should try to be better version of ourselves every day, but looking for a result in short term does not make sense. And we should keep in mind that we can continue to take mindless actions only because we value rushing and running. The second point is that healing and change is not a linear process. We face so many problems in our personal lives and in our life as society. And the problem is that we try to solve them as soon as possible and without thinking and reflection. And that gives us a feeling of certainty and a feeling of control over the situation. But none of these two are good reasons for taking mindless actions or to act out of impulses and wanting and craving for end results to happen as soon as possible. Change is a process, it's not a single question with a single answer. We have to stop oversimplifying all the problems that we have in our lives. I'll give you an example. Let's say that one of your friends has just broke up. What is the first thing that comes to your mind that we hear about it always on the media? Getting a rebound, right? That's because we want to get fast answers and fast results without thinking why was the reason that I broke up. We don't want to see or to face those problems. So we look for a rebound to make ourselves feel comfortable and happy as soon as possible. Instead, if we take the time to reflect and understand what was the problems in that relationship and why did it end, it can lead us to a better result in our next relationship. We need to understand that change is not easy and it will take time and we need to be patient through it. Point number three is that patience is coupled up with persistence. Most of the time we associate patience with not taking any action and to wait and say, okay, I'm being patient and I will see what happens next. But actually, patience is an active virtue, it's not a passive one that we just sit there and wait. Of course, patience is opposite of mindless rushing, but it's not opposite of trying. We can always try our best and try to be better versions of ourselves while taking pauses, taking time and try to reflect on our mistakes and how we can make ourselves even better. Trying our best, going to the root cause and reflecting and being patient through the whole process and not wanting to reach to the end result as soon as possible is a process that we can heal through it. Let's face it, our society doesn't see taking time as a value, but no problems has ever been solved or no progression has ever been made overnight. We should start valuing deep understanding of the problems and going to the root causes to answer to the problems that come both to our personal life and to the world of humanity. I really hope that you liked this video and if you like the content of this YouTube channel, you can find the written version of it in the blog of Human Society. I'll put the link to the blog in the description. And if you like the subject of this video, I will put the link to one of the videos of Anupama Kundu, one of my favorite architects, where she talks about the concept of time and her philosophy of life, which I really 
recommend. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and see you next week.